Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my No Buy Project Pan update for you. There are a bunch of us doing variations of this project. Everyone kind of has their own rules, what works for them, what doesn't work for them, based all on whatever your inventory is. So we're all working on different categories, some more than others. I'm working on quite a bit, but I'm not going to go over every single category because I don't have progress in every category or I haven't used something in a certain category. So I am just going to go over everything that, um, you know, I've either had an empty, I need to roll in something, I have good progress on, so on and so forth. You know how this goes. But down below in my description box, there is going to be a list of everyone that I know that is doing this project or some variation of this project. This kind of started with Jessica Payne. She inspired Dora, who inspired me and Kana and Ruthie. And there's tons of people that are doing this. I know Dana's doing it on Instagram. I, I want to say Kessie is doing it. I I'm sure there's other people that are doing it. I just I can't think right off the top of my head. And yeah, there there's a bunch of us doing this. So Go check them out, show them some love. If you're doing a project like this where you're on a no buy for certain categories and you do videos or Instagram or whatever, on whatever platform, let me know down below and I will get you linked in. So let's do this. I, I have some rollouts, I have some roll-ins, and I have some, some progress reports, so to speak. This is, um, it's ongoing for me. It's going to be going for quite a while. I started this August 30th of 2023. So this is, this is my one year. Wow. I've been doing this for a year, not half bad. And, and I, I've kicked out some categories, which is even more awesome. So, all right, let's get into this now that I've rambled on for a while. All right, starting with the first category, I'm just going in order of how it's on my spreadsheet, which I really need to redo my spreadsheet because I have like some categories where they're like, blanked out now because they're not in anymore. It's the spreadsheet's like a mile long with, you know, all sorts of things, the color coding that probably only makes sense to me. So it's in order of my craziness. So you better believe it's going to be crazy coming through on the camera. First one, body oil. I have a goal of five, which is probably going to change because different oils do different things. So I will I will figure that out before I do my next inventory, but I currently have 16. This is one of them. It is not rolling out. It, it has one of my hairs on it because I use this frequently in my hair. It is the Rada Argan Oil, and I am so stinking close. I was here last update, and I am down to here. This is absolutely going to be done by the next update. Next up is my essential oils. My goal is to have 15, and I currently have 28. And when I started, I had something like 38, something like that, 36 around there. So I have done very well for myself in the last year. I had one in another project. It was not in this, but it is a no buy category. And I have finished that one. And I'm bringing in something for this project because I'm not going to be rolling anything into other projects, at least not that I think of. So I'm going to be bringing in the Plant Guru Cinnamon Bark which it does kind of have a cinnamon smell to it, but it's a little more earthy. I don't know how else to explain it. It it kind of reminds me a little bit of frankincense, if you're familiar with that smell, but with like a hint of cinnamon, which to me is just an amazing smell. It smells like winter and Christmas to me, which is when I'm primarily going to be using this for fall and winter. So I'm very excited. I will be marking this, but it's pretty full. It's like at the top of this label here. So that is coming in for my essential oils. Next up is going to be my shower gels. And I actually have two rollouts for this one. I know that sounds really weird, but last update, I was so close to finishing one of these and I rolled a new one in anyway, and I finished that one. So the first one is going to be the Philosophy Amazing Grace. I had it upside down and I think it was just what was ever in the cap. It is done. I think I actually finished it before the last update went live, but it wasn't done by the time I filmed, but it is done now. And then I brought in the Philosophy Fresh Cream and it is done. Like it literally just got finished today. So I am going to be rolling this out and I will need to roll in something else. Since I have been working on shower gels and other projects, my numbers have dropped drastically. When I updated this last time, I had 22. I currently have 19. Yes, I've been working through a lot of my shower gels. Some of them were small. 
So of course it's easier to work through those. And that is what I'm going to be bringing in this time. Another philosophy, go figure. And this is another six ounce, so it won't take me that awful long. This is in the scent Mimosa. I feel like I've used this once or twice before. It's It smells nice. It, it smells like summer, so maybe maybe I can get it done for like that whole end of summer thing and enjoy it that way. It's very refreshing and it does remind me of my childhood because I used to have a mimosa tree outside of my house and I just always loved the smell of those beautiful little flowers that would come out and they're strange flowers. If you've never seen a mimosa flower, look it up. They're pretty interesting looking. They kind of look fluffy. I don't know how else to explain it, but I remember that smell and it was so summery to me. So I'm very happy to be working on this one. Moving on to bar soaps because I like to be clean. Um, I had in this guest size soap in the scent, what was it, Hot Arabian Nights. It was a very spicy unisex kind of scent, which I enjoyed quite a bit. It is done. I'm very happy that it is done. And I need to bring in a new soap. And I decided instead of bringing in one of the guest size soaps, I'm gonna bring in a soap that I originally had in another project, but I never got to. So I'm gonna roll it into this project. And this is also from Plant Guru. They have a lot of really nice products. And this is the African Black Soap. I have gone through these bars before. I love them. And I am hopefully going to be able to get this done in a reasonable amount of time. It will probably take me at least a couple of months, but I do want to get some work in on it. I will be splitting time with the shower gel and the soap, so maybe the shower gel is not going to be done by the next update, maybe two updates, and hopefully I can get this one done as well. My next product is a rollout, and I think you all knew this was going to be a rollout for this update. It is for my shampoos, and this was upside down. I had just like the tiniest little bit here, a little bit more than what was in the cap, but really only one use for me. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Dandruff Relief Shampoo Charcoal plus AHA BHA with salicylic acid 3%. It's, it's a lot of words to do a whole lot of not for my hair. Um, I wanted to like it. I, I really want to like Briogeo products, but it just, it did absolutely zero for my scalp, which y'all know I have some scalp issues. But for a shampoo that says it's for your scalp and I only use this on my I only shampoo my scalp area unless I do like a periodic clarify where I do all of my hair I usually only do my scalp area and this did nothing for me my hair didn't even feel clean after this one I was very very disappointed and I'm sad because I really want to like Briogeo because so many other people like it I, I'm I'm not sure if they have other lines that will work for me but this wasn't it and I'm sad. But one thing I am not sad about is that category is officially rolling out. My goal was to have 10 shampoos and I am sitting right there at that sweet spot with 10 shampoos. So hopefully I don't get anything in PR. I will not be buying anything, but I have reached my official goal because I go through hair products pretty quickly. That's why it's a little bit higher than some other categories, but 10 is actually a really good number for me. So I have met that goal and I'm rolling out that category. Speaking of categories that I'm rolling out, it is not a rollout from this project. Like the product is not a rollout from this project, but my face scrubs were still on a no buy for you know all intents and purposes, even though I didn't have a product in this particular project. I have now met that goal of five I'm actually down to four because I had some smaller ones that I used up as well. So that is goal met and that is another category that is rolling out of my note by project pan. On to a product that is actually staying in for another month. This is for my face washes. I'm actually working on two face washes, one in another project, which is an enzymatic face wash. And then this one, which is actually a foaming type of face wash. This is the Dr. Brandt facial cleanser. And I was right here at the last update. Now I'm down to here. It is pretty much certain that this is going to be gone by the next update. Next is another category that I was almost done with a product, but I decided to roll a new one in early anyway, because I knew that I did not have a like product in another project and the other one was not gonna last me to the update. So that is going to be my daytime facial moisturizers. 
I love this one. I'm so sad that it is gone. It is the Polish Choice Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid. If you are an oily girl and you're looking for something lightweight that you can wear under your makeup, this is it. It is so wonderful. I will be putting this on my list of things to repurchase, but I do have to get through all of the other stuff that I currently have. And yeah, this one was really, really nice. So the one that I rolled in is from Strivectin. This is the Multi-Action Super C Vitamin C Moisturizer. And this is listed in my daytime moisturizers. I've tried it. I can use it during the day if I'm not wearing makeup that day, but it does not work well under my makeup. I probably should put it in nighttime moisturizers because that's how I've been using it. And that's how I'm making good progress on it. So this is what I have left in here. And you can see it is not a whole lot. This is absolutely going to be done by the next update. And can I just say, finally, finally, I've been waiting for this product to be done. It is done. I did not love it, but it is done. It is for my serum category. And my goal is to have five, which might be adjusted because serums do different things. But currently I have it sitting at five and I actually own 20 of them. This one is thankfully, blessedly gone. This is the Pharmacy 10% Waterless Vitamin C Serum. I usually love vitamin C serums. I did not love this. I didn't even like it. I used it very sparingly and on days where I didn't think it was going to cause any breakouts because you know I had done a peel or something like that. That is the only time I could use this. And I knew I was close last update and it, it's done. I'm so happy that it is done. If you got oily skin, I don't think you're gonna like this. If you have extremely dry skin, you will probably love this beyond measure. Um, yeah, it was not for my skin type, but I'm glad I was able to try it. And I wish I had actually decluttered it to someone else before attempting to finish this one, but it is done. So yeah, I'm very happy about that. So I will be rolling in a new serum, but it won't be a vitamin C serum. It's actually going to be a niacinamide. I am bringing in the Sunday Riley Be Nice 10% Niacinamide Serum. I think I've tried this once. I think I've tried it. I don't actually, it doesn't even look like I've used any in the pump. So this was sent to me in PR and I never used it. Story of my life. So yeah, hopefully this won't take me like forever in a day, but I am sure I'm going to like it because most of the stuff that I've tried from Sunday Riley, I've really liked. The next category is going to be concealers. I actually am not rolling out a concealer from this project. I had one in another project and I'm still working on one in another project, but I finished the one that I use on my face and I still am working on one that I used in my under eye area to brighten up. So I need something to use on my face for like spot concealing and that kind of stuff. So a little bit darker, closer to my natural skin tone. So I'm rolling one into this project because again, I'm not rolling anything into other projects right now unless I absolutely have to. So I'm bringing in this concealer. Um, my goal is five. Let me just start off by saying that. And I am down to eight. I originally had 10, I think, when I started. So this one is from Rose Ink. It is the Soft Light Hydrating Concealer in LX080. That is the shade. They don't have names. They have numbers. And I think I've only used this once or twice. So it is virtually brand new and it's going to take a long time. It's going to be in here for a while. Next up is going to be my face primers. And I had one in this project and it is done. It's been cut open and everything. This was the Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. I really did like it. I finished it today. I enjoyed this quite a bit and I might consider repurchasing it. I do have other primers, but I am working on one in another project, but I'm officially goal met. My goal is five, and again, that might be reworked later, but I'm down to four now, and I'm very happy to have this one done. And the last category that I'm going to be talking about is going to be my lip balms, and I have another empty. This one is from Lip Smackers. It's the Coca-Cola Vanilla. It is rolled all the way up. It is just the plastic there. I will end up digging this out and melt the base into something else when I have another base to melt it into or with. And um, I will not waste any of it because that's just, you know, I don't like to waste product. But that is done for all intents and purposes. And I am not going to be rolling another one in. I do have a goal of five and I currently own 20, but I do have a 
lip mask, lip balm, lip mask in another project that's going to take a while. It's going to take a couple more months to get that done and I would like to get it done this year so I don't want to put in anything that's going to interfere with that. So for right now it's staying in the no buys but I am not putting a product in for this category right now. So that is everything for this update. It, it was a crazy update and I know I did this last month but I finished 27 products just this year alone since January 1st. I feel like I'm doing really darn good and I'm very happy with my progress. My numbers are going down and, and I'm very thankful for that. Definitely go check out everyone that I said is linked down below. And again, if you are doing this and are not in my description box, let me know and I'll get you put in there so people can come show you some love and support. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.